what is going on guys and welcome to the fire mage rotation guide this video is going to be more so aimed towards people who are maybe picking up fire mage for the first time in patch 8.3 or people who just really need a refresher on how fire mage rotation works in the video we're going to be covering single target rotation as well as aoe rotation um, now i'm going to do my best to break down these different rotations as best as i possibly can and as always if you have more comments or you need some more clarification feel free to leave them in the comments below so without further ado, let's just get into it. All right, jumping into the single target rotation. Now, this is assuming that you have double on use, of course, and you're going to be running your Mechagon Bracers. Now, as you can see here, I'm fonting before I'm popping any cooldowns. The reason being is that for double on use, there is a 20 second cooldown between two on use trinkets. And then you're going to see me here go into my precast with a pre-pot. My fireball goes off. I don't get a crit. I'm going to immediately pop Lucid Dreams and a Fire Blast. I'm gonna drop a rune of power. I'm gonna throw out my meteor and that's when I'm gonna second fire blast to get my pyro, my instant cast pyro blast. I'm gonna pop combustion. And from here on out, I'm just using instant casts. Now here, what you're doing is you're rotating between fire blasts and pyro blasts. As you can see, I'm also jumping during my rotation, which is preventing me from accidentally hard casting pyro blast, which does effectively just reduce the amount of time you spend damaging in your combustion. It just takes away time. And as you're going to see here, I'm going to use a Fire Blast, Pyro Blast, Fire Blast, and then I'm going to be using my Bracers. The reason for that is that your Bracers essentially reduce the cooldown of the last three spells by five seconds. And if you're using anything else other than two Fire Blasts and a Pyro in that sequence, you're going to end up using one of those spells on something maybe like Counterspell or Meteor or Dragon's Breath, and you don't want that. You want to refund all the Fire Blasts you possibly can. So we're going to we're going to hit bracers here and we're going to immediately go back into doing our fire blast pyro fire blasts and at the end of this sequence i'm going to use a counter spell now i know a lot of people wonder why we do that the reason that mages do that is because you're effectively trying to force proc the memory of lucid dreams minor which reduces the the cooldown of your fire blast so you're trying to force out you're trying to squeeze out an extra fire blast so you can fit another pyro blast in there the way you have to look at this is the more pyroblasts you can fit into this combustion window, the better and the higher your damage is going to be. Now, another thing that people ask me a lot of is why are you doing like what, how does your single target rotation change to AOE? Now, the big issue really depends with if you have cooldowns or not. When you have cooldowns, this is the rotation you're going to use for single target and for AOE. Now, what does that mean? Let's say a Mythic Plus scenario um, is, is at play and you have a huge mob in the pack. Let's say something like a mob that has 5 million HP and three other mobs around it have 2 million HP. Now, your single target rotation is going to be performed on that 5 million HP mob. And what you're doing is you're stacking a massive ignite on that one target and you're allowing the ignite to spread between all the other targets around it. Now, I think where the confusion lies with a lot of fire mages, especially those that are just picking up the spec for the first time, is that they don't know what to do outside of cooldowns. And it's really, really straightforward. And I know it seems clunky and wonky, but this is what it is. Um, so when you're out of cooldowns, and we're assuming that combustion's down now, um, if you're running flame patch, the AOE rotation is literally just hard casting flame patch. Um, you can maximize the amount of damage you're doing by essentially riding the blaster master stacks. What that means is just trying to prolong your blaster master as long as possible. So as you're seeing here, I'm hard casting, I'm using a fire blast, and then I'm hard casting fire, uh, fire flame strike again, and I'm extending blaster master with a second fire blast. And then when I flame strike, I have an instant cast flame strike as well. I'm using both of those. Maybe you can drop a rune of power, fire blast again, keep casting your, your flame strikes. And once you do this enough times, you start to kind of feel the the, the pace of, of this kind of rotation. And maybe you can throw a meteor down at three stacks of blaster master. And if you get really lucky with lucid procs, you can extend blaster master even longer. But this is essentially what you're doing outside of cooldowns. There's never really a scenario where, gonna be, where you're going to be using combustion uh, and using flame strikes. The only times that you'd ever want to do that is when you have a bunch of mobs that really don't have enough health. They don't have enough health to sustain all of your damage from your combustion. Then it's usually a DPS increase to cast flame strikes during uh, your combustion by using scorches and fire blasts and just spamming flame strikes. But generally, if you're doing mythic plus, you know, keys that are about like at this in this season, at least 12 or higher, 13 or higher um, mobs generally have enough health. Um, where they can withstand all of your damage from your combustion and allow you to really spread your ignite. 
So the last thing I want to mention about the rotation is it seems like a lot of new mages, new fire mages specifically, um, they don't really know how to do the outside of combustion rotation for single target. Um, this usually applies mostly to raids. A lot of people don't really know what weaving is, and when someone says you need to weave a pyroblast or weave a scorch, that generally means that you're trying to cast a scorch or a fireball or a pyroblast with another spell. So as you guys can see here, what I'm doing at this mob specifically is sub 30% health, so we're going to be scorching with the Searing Touch talent. Um, what we're doing here is we are weaving scorches with pyroblasts. So you're seeing that I'm using a fireblast with a scorch, which is guaranteed to crit. And then we're using that Scorch at the end of the cast, we're using a Pyroblast with it. That's what we see, that's what we mean by weaving. And this is really important for single target because some people can, you know, they'll cast a, a Fireball, they'll crit, they'll cast a Fireblast, and then they have a Pyro. And instead of casting another Fireball and weaving a Pyroblast, they'll just cast the Pyroblast right off the bat. And what that's not what you want to be doing. You want to be weaving spells. You, you want to keep constantly rolling your spells. So that's a big no-no. You want to be weaving spells. It, 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 it applies to, you know, if you're using fireballs and you're, you're weaving pyroblasts, and it also applies to scorching um, with a pyroblast, it can also apply to flame strikes as well. If you're scorching and you can fireblast, you're going to guarantee a crit. You want to scorch and cast that flame strike. You don't want to just be standing still and just cast the flame strike and then keep casting. You want to constantly keep, you know, keep your spells rolling. It's really, really important. And a lot of people that are new to the, to, to the spec seem to forget that um, or seem to just not know that that's what you should be doing. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for the rotation guide. Hopefully this helped some of you new mages out there kind of understand how to go about actually performing the rotation properly. And for those of you that already knew the rotation, I mean, this is probably just a little refresher on how to do it. Um, and maybe there's a couple of things in there that you might have forgotten or you didn't know about and that that's perfect. Uh, and for those of you who are new to the channel, I post only Fire Mage content. It's the only class and spec that I play in the game. So if you want to see more videos like this, feel free to leave a comment. You can like the video, subscribe to support the channel. You guys have been awesome with that stuff lately, and I'm uh, really humbled. So um, yeah, that's going to be it. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.